Hello, Ramy. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ah, there you are. Can you hear me? Hello. Connect, can you connect to your audio, your audio button? No audio? <laughs> 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 it's okay. It's okay.
Okay. Yep. Okay. I hear you now. <laughs> yeah. There I am. Something is wrong there. I can't see you now, but I hear yeah. you now. Yeah, one second, please. Just hold on. Okay. There you go. Ah, now I can see you. Okay. Now I can That's see good. you and hear you. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Yep. Hi, uh, how's it going? Good? We, we have this problem every week. So it's okay. So. That's good, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. First, I need to learn how to pronounce your name. Yeah, Is it sure. Ramy? Ramy? Oh, good. Rami. 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 Yes. Okay. What about the last name? It's, my last name is Habib. Habib. Okay, say Habib. it one more time. Habib. 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 Okay, Habib. Yeah. Habib. Yep. Habib. Rami. I, I'll do well to remember Rami, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> we're Rami or Remy, it's okay. <laughs> it's Either good. one, right? You Either one, Remy or Rami. <laughs> I used to hear a lot of people calling me Remy. Then I mean, really? I, I, your name is Rami or Remy? You know, God, it's okay. Call me Remy, okay. Rami. Whatever is good for you to pronounce and you're easy for your tongue to pronounce, I'm good with it. It's okay. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Yep. H A B I B. It's the last one. Yeah. I'm getting you in my roll book over here so we will know that you're here yeah and um, the others the others usually don't join very early so it may be a few minutes before they're on so yeah, okay. uh, yeah. we'll go over a couple of things if that's okay yeah. um, my name is is phyllis um, you can see it on the thing. how yeah. to spell it's p-h-y-l-l-i-s yeah. i have a uh a, a, a lot of mispronunciations of my name too, so it's okay. And yeah. misspellings of mine, so it's okay. Uh, did you get your book? Yeah, I got it here, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Okay, we are starting, I think I had a little note in there that we were starting on lesson 10. That's yeah. what we'll be doing tonight. Yeah. Um, if you've had a chance to look over it, that's okay. If you haven't, that's okay too. Um, I went through we, actually yesterday evening time before I went to bed. I went through and I just I read it, and I saw <laughs> uh, yeah the con uh, the control vowels. Okay, I tried to pronounce and I tried some some of the word. It was just little. It's it it was new for me, but uh, it came to know when I just went to the dictionary English dictionary. I came to know what it mean by some of the word. It was something like new for me, like like mirror. This is for me the first time to know that the mayor it's the horse female. Oh. Yes, well, something like this, some uh, some word, yeah. Because actually, my you know I have uh, it's, English is not my native language. My first language is Arabic. Uh -huh. So yeah, I'm ESL so because I'm taking this course with you right now. And uh, at the beginning, I told Judy she put me in level four, uh, and I didn't feel that I'm. I belongs to this team that and something wrong with there. Then I told Judy, hey Judy, you know, I, I don't feel good. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with the team. And they are all of them, they are nice and they are very humble people, but I don't think so. I am I belongs or relate to this level four group. Then she was very nice for, with me and she sent uh, I sent to her email well, it and it makes it harder for us to put I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah. It Oh, okay. It makes it harder uh, now that we're on Zoom to get you placed correctly. Uh, it's easier to do it face to face. Yeah. Uh, and do the testing. So um, I'm glad you spoke up and said, okay, I need to move to another class. So yeah. some do and some don't. And, and we don't want you to sit in a class that you're not comfortable with or feel like you can't grow in. So. Like, I, like they misestimate me, but of course it's not their bad. It, it is like, it, is, uh, it was something, as you told just right now, it's face to face, it's, it's, it's going to be like easy for you to assist me and to know where I have to fit in. So after law and, mm -hmm. you know, when I spoke with Judy, ah, and she was up. very nice with me. 
She is. She's very nice. She's a, she does all of our testing now that, now that we're online, uh, she and I both used to do it in person, but, uh, uh, she's doing it now herself and she, she tries her best to get everybody placed where they, uh, need to be, but it's very hard sometimes. So, uh, our, uh, our curriculum is a little bit different to the other classes. Um, this class that you're in, the people that you'll be with have finished book five uh, of the regular series. And this is a uh, old series of books that we are in now called um, It's a lot of has different vowel sounds or consonant sounds, a lot of pronunciation yeah. And uh, we will be doing a lot of pronunciation. Uh, and that actually what I need. I, I like, I have some. Very hard. I, yeah, I uh, have an to, issue with uh, my pronunciation pronouncers. and my accent also. Oh, okay. Let's see. I'm getting a text from Miss Norma. Okay, Miss Elsador has a lot of work to do. Okay, can you be on tonight later? Oh, okay, she can be on at seven. Okay. I have, I have one student that has a daughter that has to has to use the computer to do her homework. So <laughs> she may not be on till seven o'clock. So that's okay. We'll we'll mm -hmm. go ahead and start at six thirty. We'll give we've got about five minutes. Yeah. Um, uh, a lot of the words that we will have in our vocabulary uh, are new. to this class, uh, they for them. It may be easy for you. You may have heard uh, of more of the words, um, but we do um, class. We'll have class for probably about 20, 25 minutes. Then I have a book that's called Everyday Idioms. Is that backwards to you or is that forward? I don't have this one. Yeah, I can read it, but yeah, it's okay. But I, yeah, uh, I don't have this, this one. Is, no, I'm, uh, this will be on share screen. I'll have it on share screen where you can see it. It's a book of idioms. Okay. Just silly sayings uh, have a different meaning to what it says. Uh, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, it's raining cats and dogs. Have you ever heard that saying since you've been here? Again, please? It's raining cats and dogs outside. R R raining cats what raining it is raining cats and dogs outside raining cats that? and dogs outside yes yes that is an idiom that's called okay. an idiom okay. it means it has another meaning it means it's raining very hard outside Okay. flooding. So mm. uh, we'll be doing some of those. Uh, we take about uh, 15 or 20 minutes and do some of those. Mm. Uh, most of them are just for fun. And then uh, tonight we're going to have a, um, uh, a grammar review on adjectives and nouns. We'll be making some sentences. So we have two or three parts of class. Uh, I try not to make it too long, uh, but um, do you have any specific things that you would like to learn or that we could work on that you have problems with? I ha yeah, I have a problem with uh, P and P. <laughs> P and B, right? Yeah. <laughs> P, P as in peanut yeah. and B as in baby. Yeah. Okay, that's very hard. How about V as in victory? Victory is okay, I'm good. 
victory's okay. Okay. Yeah. The P and the B. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm pronounced wrong. Yeah. It's it's hard, Ciation, and it's even harder on Zoom to to help you. But we will try our best. Um, our pronunciation, our words every week, we do go through a pronunciation list. Uh, I will say the word, then you will say it after me. Um, and if we're having, if it's difficult, we may go over it two or three times. So uh, I don't know if we have any P and B words tonight, but we'll find some by next <laughs> week. I'll find you some. So <laughs> we can work on those. Um, uh, Let's see, anybody else is coming on. Nope, okay. Okay, my information says you live in Clarksville, is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Okay. Do you work in Clarksville also? Uh, no, I'm working at Nashville. You work in Nashville? Yeah. Okay. What do you do? I'm, do a, you... Work, I'm a civil engineer. Civil engineer. Wonderful. Yeah. How long have you been here in the United States? Two years. Three? Two. Two years. Two years. Yeah. You, you speak very good English for being here. Did you take English? You said you took English in college, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you speak very But it very was very English. light, actually. It was, not, it was not like, not high rank, just English, just uh, for, our, uh, for our study material, like physics and chemistry. Just only oh. for the purpose, only for study, but not English as in language, no. Oh, okay. Okay. You just I, I was in Dubai. I was in Dubai for like 12 years, so I was. Uh, I was dealing with French people and Irish people. Uh, when I when just you know when I moved over and I came here to uh, Clarksville to Tennessee, at the beginning, I faced a lot of struggles because at the beginning when I was speaking, I actually I was speaking very fast. Right now I reduced my tone, I reduced my speed of talk of speaking. Uh, at the beginning, yes, they were not getting me because of my accent. I had this very harsh accent. It's like it's a mix between British and Middle East. It's like <laughs> I have this mix of accents. Yeah, <laughs> it's not Middle East accent and it is not British accent. I have mixed. I combine both of them together. You just mixed them up. That's okay. Yeah, I mixed it up. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I'm learning how to uh, reduce my tone when I'm speaking, uh, reduce my speed when I'm speaking also, and try to use different vocab. Because I used to use British vocab, uh, which is, yeah, not everybody's using this vocab, which is like hard vocab. So I like right now I'm practicing myself, I'm uh, teaching myself uh, to use just simple words so the people they will get me easily because of my accent. Right, right. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get rid of an accent. Uh, uh, yeah. that's really hard to do. I, I don't, I don't know of anybody that's been able to totally get rid of it, but, um, um, if, if you just do the pronunciation, that's, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Excuse me just a minute. Yeah. I will okay. take this one. This may be another student. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 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 in the morning. Yes, I can do it. I can do it in the morning. Yes, yes, I can do that. Yeah. Okay, I'm in the middle of Zoom class, so I'll see you in the morning at nine. That's okay. I'll see you in the morning at nine. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> All right. Got to go to work tomorrow. So oh. <laughs> I, I just work little, little jobs. So, but um, okay. Um, let's see. I was looking, Miss Judy sent me all of your information. Uh -huh. so, 
you you aced the test. You did wonderful on the test. You didn't miss you. a thing. So that is excellent. Thank you. Okay. Very good. So I've got all of that. And Let's see, I've got your, did you get, um, well, I'm sure you did get the link. Did you, uh, were you able to get on uh, WhatsApp yet? Yeah, I just okay. got that now. I, yeah, I went through the Zoom meeting through the WhatsApp actually. Yeah, okay, I, good. I'm linking, I'm linking my WhatsApp to the computer itself, to my desktop system. So just, I click it. Well, I sent, I had to do a new uh, link today. So I sent, uh, this, I sent all the students, I sent it in your um, phone by text and I also put it in WhatsApp so that yeah. everybody would have the new link. I, I made a mess, so I had to do a new link. So, <laughs> But that happens sometimes. We're all learning this year. We, uh, yeah. We've never done Zoom before, so uh, we are learning. It is new for us, yeah. Yes. Have you done? Do you do Zoom in your yes, work? Yes, I'm doing. I'm doing a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. My my husband commented at supper that he thought Zoom brought the virus in. So <laughs> Zoom brought the virus. <laughs> yeah, they're responsible for the virus, so they could build up their business. I said, well, they might have. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The guy has a point. <laughs> <laughs> he really did so but uh, anyway uh, it's it's nice to have zoom it's nice to have another way uh, yeah. otherwise we could not have done anything for our students at all so uh, in fact we have a student that has joined our zoom from Poughkeepsie New York so they are joining us on Zoom. So wow. uh, yeah. uh, that's, we, we didn't know we'd go that far out. So but I thought that was kind of nice that- uh, oh, But you guys able. mean, this mean you guys, you have good repetition. Yeah, so hey. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna wait about five more minutes and give them about five minutes, five more minutes to get on. Um, Sometimes uh, my, my students are running late because they uh, work late. Uh, so sometimes they will get on a little bit later. So we may see that they come on maybe at, uh, yeah. at way after 6.30, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and start in about five minutes and then they'll just kind of pick up. The good thing uh, about Zoom, we can record this. This will all be recorded. Uh, sometime tomorrow, there will be a link on the WhatsApp and you okay. can go to that link and it will link you to YouTube and you'll be able to watch the um, class on YouTube. It's really kind of fun. So, <laughs> 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 so if you want to see yourself on TV, you can. <laughs> well, I'm not this kind of people who like to see myself on <laughs> right. the video, on the couple videos. Like when I'm, when I'm watching myself, if something that has been recorded to me, you know, oh my God, is this me? Why, why am I seeing in this way? What's wrong with me? <laughs> well, you are now a YouTube star. You're going to be on YouTube tomorrow. Yeah, so. I will tell all my friends so they can give me some yeah, up. Send, send, send them a link so they can see you. Yeah, I but, will do. <laughs> <laughs> but it is kind of nice to have that. So if a student does miss a class, they can go to that link and, and uh, watch the class and be yeah. caught up by the next week so that we have enjoyed having that part or maybe or for to recap something he missed it at the class so maybe he said something or uh, through all uh, this zoom meeting and through the station something has been missed so he can go back to the recorded right. session the video and he can go mm -hmm. back forward you know it's going to be easy to recap again what has been done you know it's from like yes. from week to week so it has good chance to, uh, for reviewing. It's very nice to do that. Cause like you yeah. say, sometimes you miss something or you just want to hear it again, yes. or maybe you want to do pronouncing. If you want to practice pronunciation, you can go back and listen to the pronunciation. Um, we do, I, I guess you noticed we have a story and usually we let, uh, I let different people read the story. Uh, they may read 
couple paragraphs or they may read the whole story. And I will kind of listen sometimes and critique their pronunciation and we'll go back Okay. And we'll go over, okay, this is pronounced this way, or this is pronounced this way. And then, um, of course, then there's questions after that that we have to uh, talk about the story. But um, I'm, I'm glad to join your class, uh, Mrs. Phillips. <laughs> really, I'm glad. Because that's what well, I good. want, actually. I want to learn more about to, how to pronounce some word, which is difficult to me. Yeah. Well, we do a lot of pronunciation and a lot of definitions. So uh, there's some other stuff thrown in there. There's some anonyms and synonyms and grammar and and uh, different things in the, the lessons too, but it's mostly vocabulary words, definitions, and pronunciation. Uh, and co reading comprehension. Uh, yeah. In reading the story, we see how well you comprehend uh, what's happening in the story. Um, because there'll be questions afterwards. Um, and sometimes I just do it. Uh, one week we did a discussion question time and I just threw out a question and you had, to, they had to discuss uh, the answer to that question. Were they for it, against it? Was it good? Was it bad? Um, so we do different things in here. So, and we try to have a good time when we do it too. So. I mean, like good fun, <laughs> learning and having fun. Okay. <laughs> right. I don't want to be bored. <laughs> no, you are very nice. I don't nice. like to be no, bored no. in class. So. You are very nice. No, don't say like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, I said we'd start in 10, five minutes. It's been a little, oh, well, it's right at five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and start. Okay. All right. If somebody comes in, I'll stop and let them, I'll have to stop and let them in, but um, admit them. But, um, sure. Um, we usually start, and I'm going to share screen real quick. Uh, we usually start with a um, a Bible verse that and picture that. Oh, let me see it. Uh, let me get up here. And move this. Whoops. And uh, this is our Bible verse for this week. Miss Judy is very good to get us a Bible verse and a picture to go with it. Okay. Um, and we usually uh, will, someone will read the Bible verse and uh, I do encourage you to read your Bible. Uh, this one, this Bible verse is found in Genesis 3. Uh, the uh, first couple of Bible verses we had were found in Genesis 1, so I've encouraged the uh, students to read Genesis 1, to see how God created the earth and all the things that he created and how he rested on the, th on, uh, the last day and saw that everything was good. And in Genesis 3-1, uh, things start happening that are not so good. Um, it says the snake was sneakier than any of the other wild animals that the Lord God had made. One day it came to the woman and said, did God tell you not to eat the fruit from any tree in the garden? And we know what happened after that. Uh, it was the first sin that happened. Yeah. Uh, and it, uh, uh, in, in your, um, spare time and your quiet time if you have time to read Genesis 3. Um, read that and look over that and um, uh, each week we have a different Bible verse that may have a different meaning. Uh, this month or this couple of months we're going to be going through Genesis. Uh, I don't know what she'll have for us in the next months but we're talking about Genesis and in the beginning which I thought was really good because we're starting something new. It's talking, uh, Genesis is talking about the, the earth and how new and how beautiful and how fresh it was. And, and we're starting something new with Zoom and, and reaching our students. And I thought that was very good that we study about uh, uh, newness and freshness. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna unshare screen and we're going to go back to 
to our book on page 74, starting on lesson 10. The review of controlled vowels. Uh, and the vowels have to do with all of them have R in them. Um, they're A-E-I-O-U and they have R. And we're going to learn to pronounce the different sounds with the letter R. On the first line, it's A-R. And the first word is spare. I'm sorry, spar. Oh, I okay. I'm sorry, I looked at that incorrectly. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I told you I'm going to pronounce it. And I mispronounced the first word. <laughs> it is spar. Yeah. The second word is sparkle. Yep. Carl. Marker. Market. And argue. And you're hearing the sound. I, argument or I, argument. Argument. Yeah, argument. Argument. Yeah. Uh, and in different parts of the country, sometimes it's pronounced differently. But in mm -hmm. the South, <laughs> in Tennessee, it's, it's pronounced argument. Argument. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Argument. The accent is on the first, uh, the first two letters. Okay. Uh, on the AR. And one thing that we use a lot because we're kind of where we can't use the dictionary and a lot of times we will use google on uh -huh. the, our phones if you're not okay. using your phone or or um whatever and if you use google it will help you uh in pronunciation yeah and if we look up the word argument definition it will give you a pronunciation let me see if i can get one up here real quick uh, I think it is. One second. My phone is being slow tonight. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> I get it. I yeah, if you if you do your phone, and I don't know if you can. Whoops, where's my camera? There's my camera. Yeah. It will show you definitions and and uh, syllables and pronunciation. So we find that very helpful sometimes. Hmm. Uh, too. Okay, any questions on the first line? No, R. No, we good. Okay, the second line, the letters are A, R with an E added. Mayor. Mayor. Nightmare. Nightmare. Blair. Yeah, there's a B here. Okay, is, I told there's you about one, There's the a B, B one. There's a B yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blair. But it's like, it's well, you're not a lady, but if you were putting on lipstick, you'd be going like, mm, get your get your lips together and get your <laughs> lipstick smeared out or yeah. chapstick. We'll use chapstick because guys okay. use chapstick. Yeah, but you're going to smear it together. But, 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 Blair, Blair, wear. Daycare and car fare. <clears throat> any questions on any of those? Do you need any definitions of any of those? We'll find some of the definitions a little bit later. I about uh, no, I think I'm good. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Our next two letters are E R. Fern, Stern, Eastern, Western, Jersey, and New Jersey. Okay. Fern, Stern, Eastern, Western, Western Jersey, New Jersey. Yes, good, very good. Okay, next, any any questions on that line? No, I'm good. Perfect. All right, we're gonna do IR. Okay. Shirk, twirl, yeah. rebirth, birthplace. There comes that B word again, B, birthplace. Birthplace. Mm -hmm. birthplace. birthplace, sorry. Yeah, this is, I have to be here. Spare, 
birthplace. Birthplace, yes. Yeah. His birthplace was in a log cabin. His birthplace was in a log cabin in Tennessee, where he was yeah. born. Yeah, I know. I know that meaning. But oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you were asking yeah. a definition. No, I'm just about pronunciation only, not the meaning. I okay, the meaning, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, very good. Yeah. Uh, okay, then we have dirt cheap and first aid. First aid, yeah. First aid, yes. Um, any questions on that line? No, good. Okay. All right, then we have the letters O R. Okay. Four. Four. Forehead. Sore head. Sore. Moreover. Poor. Over. Poor. Mm -hmm. Poor. Orderly. Orderly. Mm -hmm. Four. Forehead, sore head, moreover, poor, and orderly. Four. Four, forehead, sore head, moreover, poor, orderly. Mm -hmm. Okay, next line is you are. Urge, urgent. Urgently, burnt, purple. There's that P oh. word, P purple. Like you're blowing out a candle. Like you had a candle, P you're, P you're gonna P puff and blow oh. it out. So purple. 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 So, yeah. mm -hmm. Purple. Yes. Good. That sounds good. Surround. Surround. Okay. All right, let's say them again. Urge, urgent, urgent. sorry, urgently, urgently, burnt, burnt, purple, purple, and surround. Surround. Okay, let's do purple again. Let me hear your P. Purple. 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 Good. That, you're doing good on P's and B's. Yeah. All right, let's do a B. Let's do birth. 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 Good, good. Purple. Purple. Good. Hey, you're doing good. See, you're going to learn all that tonight. You won't need to come back to class. <laughs> I'm, I'm forgetting. <laughs> you're going to graduate tonight. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're not going to graduate tonight. Okay. We have a long way. We have a long way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> okay. In the first part of the lesson, we have some word meanings. A lot of these words we just said and pronounced. All, all of them we okay. did. Um, okay. In the far left are the words. In the 1 through 15 are the definitions. So if you, if you will look at those, and I'll give you about five minutes and see if you can put the definitions with the correct word. Okay. Give me two minutes only, not five. Two minutes? Okay. Well, you just yeah. tell me when you're through because there's nobody else on but us so far. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just tell me when you're through. <laughs> sure.
Okay, I'm done. All right. Okay, number one, a dark color that is a blend of red and blue in the old days, the color of royalty or high rank? Purple. 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 I'm gonna make you pronounce it over and over and over again, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Number two, a female horse. Mare. Very good. Number three, a frightening dream. Of course, it's nightmare. <laughs> nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number four, a knitted pullover shirt worn for certain sports. Jersey. Jersey. Yes. Number five, a person who gets very angry when he is defeated. Sore head. Sore head, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good person. <laughs> Number six, a plant. Burn. Burn, yes. Seven, a store or shop where items such as meat are sold. Market. Market, yes. Eight, a tiny opening in the skin through which liquids may be taken in or discharged. Four. 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 Yeah. Yes. You're there's there's a there's another word, P O O R that yeah. is Which poor. is poor guy, yeah. Right. The poor guy, you know, yeah. or he's poor, he doesn't have any money. Yeah. And this is poor, like a pore in your skin. Yeah. Yeah. It's real similar. It's pronounced very similar. Yes, you're right. Uh, number nine, an eastern state in the United States. New Jersey. That's easy. That was too easy. Yes, it was. Uh, number 10, firm or strict? Stern. Yes. 11, needing or demanding prompt action. Urgent. Urgent, yes. To avoid doing something that should be done. Shirk. Shirk. Yes. yes. <clears throat> Number 13, to box with skill and some caution. Landing a few heavy blows. Spar. Spar, yes. 14, to glitter or shine like jewels wet grass in the sun, etc. Sparkle. Sparkle, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Number 15, treatment given in case of injury or sudden sickness. First aid. First aid. Those were some yeah. easy ones, I think. Yeah. Those were almost too easy, weren't they? <laughs> okay, our uh, story tonight is um, a story about a man named Lewis Braille. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, Lewis was in this story a youth uh, before he become uh, an older person. And we're gonna see what problems he had and what he uh, basically invented or put together. Some of the words that we will see in the story tonight are Lewis Braille, that's the gentleman's name, or the young boy's name in the story. Louise Dorm, mm -hmm. Dorm, Stylus, Features, Tangled, Cheekbones, here's you a P word, Project, mm -hmm. System, Forever, Possible, possible. Beyond. No, no, just pronounce it again. Possi uh, possible. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, it's okay. Hey, we have to practice. Yeah. Possible. Okay. It's okay. Possible. 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 Yeah, that's hard. That's got a P and a B in there, doesn't yeah. it? That's got both yeah. of them in there. Yeah. <laughs> pot, you're gonna, P is gonna blow out the candle with P. B is gonna put on your chapstick. Possible. And I'm doing it real slow like that. You won't, we'll do it faster. Possible. 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 
Yes, you're doing yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. All right. Uh, are any of these were any of these words uh, unfamiliar to you? Do you need a um, no I'm good. definition? No. Okay. You're good with all those. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. I'm going to just because I want to hear your pronunciation of some words. Let I'm going to be yeah. mean and make you read the whole story. Okay. Yes, sure. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I'll go ahead. All right. I'm going to listen and I'm going to critique you. And then at the end, I will tell you if there's anything that I heard that you need to correct. Sure. Okay. I will start right now. Okay. So uh -huh. don't get your feelings hurt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't get your feelings hurt. Okay. I'm right. here for learning. Is it? <laughs> yeah. The dorm was dark and still. Only one boy was, was awake. He sat on the edge of his bed at a far corner of the room, holding a sheet of thick paper on his lap. Slowly, he punched tiny holes across the page with the point of sharp stylus. Every few minutes, he bowed, ran his finger across the raised dots on the other side of the paper. Then he continued working with his stylus. A deep whisper coming from the next bed stopped him for a minute. Twist, that you? Still punching dots? Shh, be still, it's late. You, you will wake up everyone, Luis replied. You'd better quiet and get some rest, Luis. The teacher will be really angry if you does off in class again. I know, Rami, I know. Yes. Let me stop you for just a second because yeah, I've got somebody sure. coming in. I'm so sorry. I hate to do no, that. No, no, you're good. Here comes Sonia. She's another one of our students. Her name is Sonia. And she has a little boy. I heard a little, a little child there a minute ago at, at your place. Do you have a little boy or a little girl, Rami? Yeah, I have a boy. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought I heard a little child a yes. minute ago. So. <laughs> hey, that's okay. That's no, the no, fun no. part of doing this Zoom. We get to see the, the whole family. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on, Miss Sonia. Hi. There you are. I hear you, but I don't see you. I don't see me. Okay. <laughs> I don't see you. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me back. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Ah, now you took your you took your audio off. I can't hear you. You muted yourself. Okay, I okay, now I can hear you. I still don't see you. Okay. Hmm. You want to stay hidden tonight? Is <laughs> Okay, you have muted yourself, so I can't hear you now. Okay, you're unmuted. Now we just need your video. Ah, you muted yourself again. <laughs> This is the fun part of Zoom. <laughs> Getting everybody on. <laughs> uh, ah, I hear you. There should be a little camera that says video somewhere. I mean, uh, yeah, video. You hit the audio and turned yourself off. I, I can't hear you now. Okay, now, you, now you're back on. Yeah, but I don't know. Okay, you're muted again.
Ok. Ay. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> There you go. Now we can see you. Yeah. <laughs> That was hard, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> it's okay. We we had that trouble before, so it, it's all right. We'll get it. Um, tonight we have a new student, Sonia. Sonia, this is Rami. Hi, Hi Rami. Rami. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. He is from Egypt. Uh, oh, so okay. He, yeah, he lives in Clarksville now and works in okay. Nashville. Okay. Is, okay. We are on page 75, Sonia. We just started the story. Okay. Uh, about Lewis Braille. Okay. As, uh oh, here, here comes somebody else. Here comes Pedro. Let's do it again. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Pedro. Hello, Pedro. Ah, uh, he's connecting to audio. Hello. Hey, hello, Pedro. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I can't see you. I can hear you, though, but I can't see you. I don't know what I have to do. Uh, hit the video. There should be a little thing that looks like a camera. <clears throat> uh, you hit the audio and you just muted yourself. Okay. There should be another thing that looks like more like a camera. Uh, It will say video. Um, ay, 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 ay. Pedro. Uh huh. Press your name and disappear the the things like the cameras. You meet yourself again, buddy. That was musical. <laughs> Did you find it, Pedro? No. Yeah, how do you go, buddy? Oh, there it is. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> yes. Thank you, <he's> God. Yes. <laughs> Welcome, man. Yay, Pedro got up. <laughs> man, we just like Maria and Norma. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Pedro, we have a new student tonight. His name is Rami. And he's up, well, I don't know where he is on your screen, but he's Hi, up Pedro. in my upper left-hand corner. Uh, nice to it, meet you, Rami. Nice to meet you, man. How's it going? Good? I'm good. Okay. Right into Hi. one English. <laughs> <laughs> All of us are able to English, man. <laughs> Gee, I don't know what y'all's problem. I don't know why y'all can't learn it fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, one day, I'm one day. just kidding. I well, just... no, you're good. One day. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding okay we are on actually page 75 mm -hmm. if we have time i'll go back and we'll do the the definitions for y'all to be sure you have the correct one but we're on 75 on our story now our story is uh -huh. about a, a young uh, <laughs> gentleman named lewis braille um uh, this is a story about when he was a youth Uh, we're going to find out something special about him tonight. And Rami is reading for us um, uh, because I'm listening to his pronunciation. I'm going to embarrass you, Rami. He pronounces this stuff very well. So he's done very, yeah. very, very well. So um, uh, I'm going to let him read. <laughs> I'm going to let him read the story tonight. And then we'll answer the questions together. Um, and um, I'm gonna, oh. if, if you don't mind, Rami, start would you over? start all over? <laughs> yeah, I know you Thank lost you. this one. Yeah, okay, I'll do it again. We were, okay. we were only about a paragraph down, so it wasn't yeah. too bad. <laughs> yeah, I kind of right. over. It's okay. Okay, yeah. perfect. <laughs> Thank you. The dorm was dark and still. Only one boy was awake. He sat on the edge of his bed at a far corner of the room, holding a sheet of thick paper on his lap. Slowly, he punched time
climbing holes across the page with the point of a sharp stylus. Every few minutes he bought, ran his finger across the raised dots on the other side of the paper, then continued working with his stylus. A deep whisper coming from the next bed stopped him for a minute. Luis, that you still punching dots? Shh, be still. It's late. You will wake up everyone, Luis replied. You'd better quiet and get some rest. Luis, the teacher will be really angry if you does off in the class again. I know, I know. I'm almost through now. Please, go back to sleep. Luis Brill placed his paper and stylus in a shelf behind his bed. Extend his arm before him. He, wa he walked across the dome and stood before an open window. He was a thin boy, but handsome with sharp, intelligent features, which made him seem somewhat older than his 15 years. Tangled blonde hair fell over his large forehead. His features were hurt only by his eyes, which started blankly from above his cheekbones. Luis was a student at a school for blind youth in Paris. For months now, he had been working intensely on a project which had come to rule his entire life. He was trying to work out a system of reading and writing for the blind. This system was based on combining dots which were punched into paper with a sharp pointed tool called a stylus. As it was, the blind had no means of reading or writing. The best system that had been invented for them to date was almost useless. Because of this, they could not hope to share fully in life. Young Louis refused to accept this fact. He would not admit that because he was blind, he was forever cut off from the rest of the world. Yet, his work was raised dots and had not been successful. It was not possible, they said, to invent a truly good system of reading and writing for the blind. Everyone at the school told Luis that he was wasting his time. Lately, the young student had be become depressed. He wondered if his project was beyond him. Perhaps it was true, perhaps neither. He nor any other blind person could ever take his place in the world of seeing. From the street below, Luis heard the sound of wheels and clicking of horses. Hops, suddenly he felt lonely and homesick. He sat down on the rough floor beneath the window, draw his knees up to his chest and leaned his head against the wall. A warm April breeze swept through the room, reminding him of a spring in his own town. Okay, just you can. Yeah, I've got one coming in, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> you almost got finished. I won't make you start over again, though. <laughs> I'll just let you finish. <laughs> okay. okay, here comes Billy. Miss Norm. Yes, Norm, I'm Norm sorry. Daughter I'm was, late. That's okay. That's fine. I, I knew you said your daughter had some lessons to get, so. A lot of work. A lot of work, Mrs. Billy. Hi, Sonia. <laughs> Hi. Okay, we can't see you. Hit your video. Okay, let me check now. <laughs> oh yes, it's closed, sorry. Okay. That's okay. Okay. 
you. It's okay now? Yes. There you are. Yes, we see you okay. now. We okay. see you now. Good. We have Sonia Pedro, and we have a new student tonight. Hi. I'll introduce you. His name is Rami, and he is Hi. from Egypt. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi, no one asked you to do. Yeah, nice to meet you. He is, uh, are, you, are you doing okay, Norma? Yes, I'm wrong, but I'm okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yes, I'm wrong, wrong, wrong. Everybody has to share the computers, don't they? So, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so. Okay, Rami is reading our story. We're on page 75. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to make him start over because he's almost finished. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, if you want to go ahead, Rami, we will finish yes. the story and then we will go back and do some questions. Yeah, sure. Normal, we're at page 75 and we're in the last paragraph. If you want to join, start with mm -hmm. me. Yeah. <clears throat> at home, the field snow would feel moist and soft beneath his bare feet. The hills would be filled with the smell of new clover. The farmer would soon be bringing their first fruits and vegetables to market in the town square. Reaching farther and farther back into his childhood, Louis tried to remember what the square had looked like, but he knew it was useless. He had tried to remember so many times before, he could not remember what his house looked like, nor could he picture the faces of his mother and father. The sound and smells of home, all this were clear, but the sights had faded completely. He could remember nothing he had ever seen. He had been blind much too long. Okay, very good. All right, I'm going to do a little critiquing, uh, and then we will get to the, the questions, and that will give uh, you all a chance to uh, look over the story if you need to look over it a little bit more. Um, you did great, Rami. Uh, I'm sorry, Rami. I said it wrong okay. again. Rami. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you did great with your punctuation, with your commas. You stopped and you paused. That is very good when you're reading. Uh, you were great when you were reading questions. You read it just like it was a question. You were asking someone. Uh, that was very good. You were good with expressions, expressing uh, when um, the boy beside him was saying, shh, be still, it's late. That's expressive reading. That was very good. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to go back to let's see uh the one two third no fourth paragraph down that starts with you'd better and read that first again, sentence that was what again uh the one two three one, fourth two, paragraph three, three. down okay. and read the first sentence which well, starts with what you'd better you'd better it's one, two, one, two, three, four. You, yeah, okay, sorry. You'd better quit and get some rest, Luis. Okay, very good. You said it correctly then. When you said, when you read it the first time, you put quiet instead of quit. Quit. Oh, sorry. Okay. Which yeah. is which is very easy to do because they're they're very they're very similar in spelling. So yeah. Okay. Perfect. You you corrected that. Now, um, um, let's see the second over on the right hand side, the first full paragraph that says yet his work. Yes. Okay. Yet okay. Read work, that first sentence. Yet his work was great dots and not being successful. Okay, let's do the word successful. 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 Yeah. Yes, I can. I can understand it when you when you got your head up. So yeah. that's very good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's my hearing. That's my old age hearing. So no. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure you got all your syllables in there. Yeah. And let's see. 
the uh, the last paragraph, okay. the second sentence that says the heels. Is the last paragraph on the right, correct? On the right hand side yes, on the last home. paragraph. Okay, which is starting at, which is starting at home. Yes, read those first two sentences. Yeah, okay, sure. At home. The fields now would feel moist and soft beneath his bare <coughs> feet. I read I'll, the next sentence. I will read the next one. Okay. The mm hell -hmm. the hells would be filled with the smell of new clover. Okay. Clover, a long O. Oh. Clover. Clover. Mm -hmm. Clover. Because, yeah, because normally, you know, the O is not pronouncing O, it's pronounced with like Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, is used, yeah. this is O like clover, and you can be Southern and say clover. Clover. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> yes, yes, be Southern and say clover. Um, okay. The next one is... Well, I thought there was another one. Maybe that was all of them. Successful Clover. I guess that was. Okay, that was all of that was all the words that I just kind of wanted you to pronounce again. Okay. Let's flip over to the next page and we're going to do these questions about the story. I know some of you didn't hear the whole story. I'm sorry, Norma. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm trying to read before. Okay. All right. Uh, questions about the story. Uh, Sonia, would you do number one, please? Yes. Mm. This story takes place in a uh, school. School. Yes, he was in a dormitory of a school. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, Pedro, you want to do number two? In what season does this story take place? Um, spring? Spring, yes, very good, very good. Uh, let's see, you want to try number three, Norma? The teacher was angry with Lois because in class, he has no homework. He's trying to invent a new <laughs> Let me something okay. Mm. Uh -oh, I can find it. Look in the let's see, one, two, three, four, fourth paragraph. Fourth paragraph. Ah, to sleep. <laughs> ah, he went to sleep in class. Yes. Yeah, it's the A. <laughs> Very yeah. good. He went to sleep in class. Uh, Rami, you want to do number four? Yes, yeah, sure. The other people seem to think that Louise project is useless. Okay. They thought it was useless. Yes. Okay. And we're going to talk about the story in a minute. Yeah. Sometimes if I talk about, and they'll tell, the other students will tell you, Rami, if I talk about the story before we answer the questions, I answer all the questions for you. Yeah. So I'm not going to do that anymore. So uh -huh. we'll talk about it afterwards. Okay. Uh, number five. Let's go back to Sonia. Okay. In this story, Luis's work on inventing a system of reading and writing for the blind is uh, successful. Look on the right hand side, sec uh, first full paragraph. Yes. Starting with yet.
read that first sentence starting with yes. Which is stylish. Mm, the, the right, you say the right hand, right hand side? The, the right hand side, uh huh. The first full paragraph starting with yet his work. Uh, yet his work with race dots and hand, it, dots had not been successful. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, successful. So unsuccessful. It had uh -huh. not been successful, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm sorry, I know y'all missed part of the story, so this is kind of unfair, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> okay, Pedro, you want to do I number said, six? Uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, Mrs. Phillips, please. You just you told me right write down number five, it's successful? Uh, successful? Unsuccessful. Unsuccessful, unsuccessful. yeah, okay. Unsuccessful. Because sure. okay. he yeah, says, okay. uh, Yet his yeah, work I'm, with raised dots had not been successful. Yeah, it was mentioned, yet his work with raised dots had not been successful. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The, the word successful is there, but it says had not been yes. successful. Yeah, it so has that to would go, be We have to go back to yeah, the beginning yeah. of the yeah. sentence. Yeah. <laughs> yes, very good. All right. Let's see. Number six. Pedro, you want to do number six? And uh, this story, Lois, is falling dejected. Dejected. Yes, he is feeling dejected in this. He's feeling sad and depressed. depressed dejected. Yeah. Uh, okay, number seven. Me? Norman. <laughs> okay. Lois could remember. It's okay. Lois could remember. Let me check. I think that he remember. <laughs> you, can, you can read all, them all of the sign from his child. I think. If you want to read them all out loud, you can, and then go back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I can tell you it's at the very end of the story. Mm -hmm. The last couple of sentences at the bottom right hand at the end of the story. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay remember when the square has look at like this. Chill her. Chill her. Yes, all the sign from his chai hat. Some of the signs of his child. Yeah, they say uh, I reach childhood. Reaching future and future back into the childhood. Childhood. Reaching future and future back into his childhood. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the letter eight. He could remember all the sides of his childhood? Yes. They say no, I, is, uh, look at look at the last two sentences of the story. Okay. He Read says no. Last. He does not remember what the house. Mm -hmm. I can't. We should have forgotten more. It's a, mm -hmm. the sounds of the movie. I have letter B. Remember the yes. B. Letter B is oh. correct. If the last two sentences say he could remember nothing he had oh. ever seen. Okay. He had been blind much too long. Okay. So it would he could remember none of the sight. Uh -huh. of his child. He could remember the smells, but he couldn't remember the sights. Oh, uh, okay. he could still smell. So that uh -huh. okay. All right, number eight. Uh, Rami. Yeah, Louis Pearl would not admit that he was blind. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, well, actually, actually, two of those say the same thing. Um, it just, it just would be look at, 
name. <laughs> yeah, look on the right hand side of the story. Okay. And the one, two, third line down where it says, Young Lewis refused to accept this fact. He would not admit that because he was blind, he was forever cut off from the rest cut of the off. world. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cut so, off. Yes. okay. That one's a trick question. That's a yes. trick question. So yeah. he, he, he would not take, you know, he, he, he was blind. C is correct also, but B is the most correct answer that he would not be cut off from the rest of the world because of his blindness. Who was blind? Mm -hmm. okay. All right, number nine. Swear my back. I'm back to Sonia. Number nine. Okay. Uh, according to this story, the greatest problem confront confronting the blind at the time was that they were not able to. Mm. I have enjoyed the beauties of nature. Well, no, because able. he can smell. Oh, yeah, you're right. Smell. He can right. smell. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. Get around the bike. And being and blind, is that, being blind and does that have anything to do with getting around? Mm -hmm. By themselves? Probably see their families and friends. Well, or relate to the others through the writing word. <laughs> All right, relate to others through the written word. Because what was he trying to do? What was uh, Lewis what? trying to do in the story? He was uh, trying to invent a new system for reading. Inventing a system where inventing system where people the, could the read. people, the yeah. blind people, mm -hmm. can read. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And if you'll notice, his last yeah, his name is, is his last name is Braille, mm -hmm. and that's when he finished this this system of writing letters or word to make words. Mm -hmm. It was called the Braille system, and that's what they have now. Yeah, they take their hand and they put it over the dots, and mm -hmm. they can read. Yeah, he can read. Yeah, yeah. So he start he started inventing that as a youth. He was what, fifteen years old? Could you mm -hmm. have done that when you were fifteen years old? Would you have thought of something like that? <laughs> no. no. No, no. He was a very smart young man. Uh, yeah. And he was very determined. He was going to do it no matter what. He was not going to be left behind and cut off from the world because he was blind. He yeah. wanted a better way. Okay, number 10. Where am I at? Am I at Pedro? No, did you just do that one? No, Pedro. <laughs> no. <laughs> number 10, please. Pedro. <laughs> yes, please. This Story was probably meant to inspire us to a enjoy being able to see, b keep working even the things seem hopeless, c overcome our fear of blindness, d respect every person who is blind. B. Mm. B? Yes, it is. B is the correct answer. Yes. Actually, all of them are good answers, yeah. aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're all very good answers. But the main focus uh, of the story was to keep on working, even when things seem hopeless, because that's what uh, uh, he did. He kept on working uh, to invent this system to help him be able and others to be able to read. Okay, very good. All right, there's a um, paragraph, or well, several paragraphs in part three that tell a few more facts about uh, Lewis Braille, and you'll learn a little bit more about him. So the words on the left-hand side you will use to fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and then that will help us learn a little bit more about him. Uh, so I'll give you a couple minutes to work on that. And then we'll come back and do it together. Mm -hmm. Pedro, <laughs> we lost you there. Where'd you? <laughs> my bar my battery is uh, gone dead. Oh, oh, plug it in, man. Plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This one's not too easy, is it? It was good. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes. This one's even hard for me. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. 
What? What? Life. Just Rami, there are no oh. answers in the Bible, so <laughs> I'm learning too in some in some weeks. I'm going to give you. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm going to read and I and y'all fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. We'll see who got the correct answers. Lewis Braille, 1809 to 1852, was a blind Frenchman. Mm -hmm. Frenchman, yes. Frenchman. Who invented the Braille system. Yeah. System. 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 Yes. Oh my God. Idea. <laughs> <laughs> of printing and writing for the blind. Three years after his birth near Paris. Paris. And accident blinded him. Accident blinded him. Yes. He entered a school for the blind when he was 10. In and in 1824 1824 yeah when uh -huh. braille was 15 years yeah. oh, oh. Yeah. maybe the answer i'm sorry yeah 15 <laughs> <laughs> i do that a lot i'm sorry okay yeah. Yeah. when braille was 15 years old <laughs> he invented his raised dot dash reading system the idea came to him from idea the, yeah came to him from a dot dash code punched on cardboard with an army officer army officer mm -hmm. used to send messages to his men messages. at night Mess yes yes kind of like the um uh what do they call it the morse machine morse code morse code yes yes like mm -hmm. the morse code yeah. Yes, very good. I couldn't think of what it was. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, was my <laughs> <laughs> All right, next paragraph. Later in 1829. Okay. 1829, Braille completed his dot system. The code was not accepted at once, but it later won the world's phrase. Yes. A blind Braille. man writes Braille on a six key machine. Machine. Machine, yes, called a braille writer. Mm -hmm. yes. Perfect, perfect. So we learned a little bit more about um, Lewis Braille. He was uh, blinded by an accident. Um, he entered the school at uh, 10 and he invented the braille system for blind people to be able to read books and to read newspapers and to uh, to be able to write something to someone by using this Braille writer machine, they can be able to type out letters and and uh, communicate with uh, friends and family. 
So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have an uh, issue actually, Mrs. Phyllis, please. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I have, I have one concern here for the second one, the second paragraph, which is three years after he first knew Paris. Okay, I know this is, the, this is the correct one, but like I'm not convinced that as like something is wrong is there. Like it's mentioned three years after his birth near Paris. I mean, this is, should be like a time, not a place. I know the correct one is Paris, okay? I know this one, but I mean, when okay, you- Okay, now where are you? you? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Yeah, the second, the second one, the second one, which is, it's starting the with second. three years after his birth. Oh, okay, yes. The third line, the third line, okay? Three years yes. after three his years. birth, yeah, near Paris. Okay, I know this is the correct one, but like, I'm feeling there's something wrong. Uh, like, it's like grammarly, it's not connected, or the, the sentence itself is like, it's not connected because when you read it again and again, it's like it's showing you or referring to a time, a timeline, not a place. I think what needs to be, it should be three years after his birth, comma, okay. near Paris. Mm -hmm. Something like this. Comma, yeah, yeah. An accident line. Yes, you are correct. Hey, we have found mistakes in books. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. But yes, you're correct. It's, it needs to be a comma there to separate yes. three years after his birth near Paris. Yeah, yeah. Right now you have a time and you have location, okay? Yes. A place, yes. I mean place. So you, we should separate from both together. It should be separated. It cannot be yes. combined in one sentence. It, it's, it's, it's different thoughts. Yeah. So you want to separate the different thoughts. Yeah. Yes, you are correct. So just put a comma in there after yes. birth, y'all, and it after, will be wrong. After birth, <laughs> yes. Yes, after birth. In fact, there's a um, there's there's a mistake that I found in. Uh, it's not this lesson; it's the next lesson. I'm gonna see if y'all find it when we get to that lesson. Mm -hmm. um, this okay. this book made a boo boo. Um, all right, we're going to stop there for our lesson because we're going to switch and go to idioms because I also have a grammar review of adjectives and nouns. So next week we'll do section four, section five, and section six and finish up um, lesson 10. Um, so we will do that next week. Let me change my sticky and close that book. All right, I have to ask a question for Miss Judy before I go any further. She needs to know if you all know anyone that does landscaping. She's needing someone to come and trim some shrubs and pull some weeds and get her um, garden around her house looking better. If y'all know of anybody that does that. Miss Judy needed. Yeah, Miss Judy needs it at her house. Okay. If y'all if y'all think of someone or run across someone that does it, text it to me or text it to Judy. Um, she's just looking for someone, and she said, "Will you ask your class if they know someone?" And I said, "I would do that." So, okay. all right. Okay. We're going to. I'm going to share screen. Ooh, if I can find my share screen button. There we go. All right your screen and give me a second I need to go to class and we're going to do some idioms real quickly oh I just knocked them off what did I do there we go Okay, is that too small? I'm going to make it bigger. Yes, please. <laughs> a little bit small, huh? Whoops. Now let's see if I can. Mm -hmm. uh... Could you share this one with us, please, through WhatsApp, uh, Mrs. Foley? I'm sorry? Could you share this document, this Word document, right? This Word, yeah. 
Could you share it with us through WhatsApp? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know if we've ever tried to share documents, but I will, I will yeah, see please. if that's, if that's, hmm, I don't know. I can show I'll you have to how check, to do it, yeah. I'll have to check that out and see. We have a gentleman that is helping my, us, Mr. Ricky Kreisel, uh, who is a tech savvy person, okay. uh, who knows how to do everything with all these, these technical things. So I will ask him and see. Uh, if it can be shared in WhatsApp. Yes, it can be, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, can you see, is that too small? That's fine, we can make it it's bigger. Fine. Can you make it? Okay, all yeah, right, make it these, these are uh, idioms uh, that you may or may not have heard. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go through the definitions of them uh, and then we'll do uh, five little matching of A, B, C, D, and E, and these all have to do with vacation. Vacation. Vacation time, yes. Vacation time. The first idiom is have off. Have off. And that means to have time when one doesn't have to work at one's job to attend or to attend school. Uh, sometimes they may say take off or be off or have off. Like I'm going to take off two weeks for my next vacation okay. or I'm going to be off next Monday for my birthday okay. or I have off two weeks in the summertime. Okay. All has to do with vacation. Okay. The second one is on leave. On leave. This usually, on leave. This usually has to do with the military, uh, like on a holiday, the military, they're not on active duty, they're on leave. Uh, some, when they come home from, um, say, Iraq or Afghanistan, they're on leave for a few months, and then they may have to go back. Um, but it usually has to do with the military service. All right, the next idiom is go away. And that to actually travel. means to travel. I, I, mm -hmm. When I first looked at it, I thought it meant, oh, get away from me, go away, go yeah. away. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah. But that's not what it meant. <laughs> go away means to travel or get away. Some people say get away. I'm gonna get away from this, uh, house for uh, two weeks and go to the ocean um, uh, or I'm going to go away for a nice vacation next week. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. That would be nice. <laughs> yes, I need it. It's making me, making me want to go on vacation. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see. I can't see everybody. Let's see if I can get everybody up here. Why is it not working? <laughs> Ah, it went the other way. Ah, now I got you people in the wrong place. How do I get you back over there? Oh, gravy. Oh, gravy. Seatbelts. I wish I was tech savvy. I am just not tech savvy. <laughs> now, there you go. Uh-oh. Uh now, uh-oh. What did I do? All right. Okay. Next one. See off. To say farewell or goodbye to someone. Uh, mm -hmm. For instance, I'm going to take you to the airport and see you off. Or I'm going to take you to the train station oh. and see you off. Or say farewell to you or say goodbye to you. Okay. All right. Take in to experience or to enjoy by viewing. Some people say soak in. I'm going to take in all the sights of San Francisco. I'm going okay. to soak in all the sunshine while I'm in Florida. Okay. Make sense? Okay. The next one is check in. Check in. I know y'all heard check this in. one. To register at the hotel. I'm going to go check in at the desk 
and get <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of an easy one. That's really mm -hmm. not an idiom to me. That's mm -hmm. just simply saying. And the next one is check out. You're gonna and you go out. You go out. You go out of your room. <laughs> Those really don't sound like idioms to me. So um, that's something we would normally say if we were mm -hmm. going to a hotel or a motel. Mm -hmm. uh, Next one is book up. Book that means up. to reserve rooms. Um, sentence would be, I'm going to book up enough rooms for our whole family to go on vacation. Okay. I'm going to book up seven rooms for all my friends. Okay. And the last one is get back. Get to return back. home from vacation. That doesn't sound like an idiom to me either. No. These idioms, <laughs> some of them didn't sound like idioms. Just, uh, okay. But to return home from vacation. I don't like when I return back. <laughs> you don't like <laughs> no, no, I need no. five days more. <laughs> it's, it's not fun to get back from vacation, is yeah, it? No, it's not fun. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have... We have five uh, matching. Number one says, would you like me to see you off at the airport? What A, B, C, D, or E answers that question better? Number one for me is C, off. Please don't. Did C, C, off. Yes, C. Please don't. I ha I hate having to say goodbye. That is mm -hmm. correct. All right. And the second one is Sergeant, are you on leave next month? E. Unfortunately, I don't have any leave until the end of the month. Exactly. Unfortunately, I don't have any leave until the end of the month. So that is number E. Mm -hmm. Number three. Hasn't it been a long time since you've had some time off? Yes, I guess it has been two I years since I went time away time. somewhere. Yes, B, yes. I guess yes. it has been two years since I went away somewhere. Whew, that's a long time. All right, <laughs> number four. Number four. Were you able to enjoy all the attractions at Disney World? D. No, I week. D. No, I week. Wasn't enough to take in all the activities. That is correct. Yeah. No, a week wasn't yeah. enough to take in all the activities. Mm -hmm. And number five, have you checked out of the hotel yet? Unfortunately, only one. I don't have a <laughs> <laughs> There's only one left. <laughs> I'm going down to the down checkout, to the checkout desk desk right, right now. <laughs> yes, there's the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that one was easy. The last one was easy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to do some grammar review real quick. Well, yeah. not real quick. Yeah, it I'm may take a few minutes. Grammar review, uh, oh, let's see. Now I got to move that again so I can push this button. Okay, are those no, not a little bit bigger, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, adjectives, oh my God. Okay, <laughs> nouns. The nouns are on the left-hand side. Some nouns that I have put up here for you are baby, Wagon, uh -huh. house, cat, uh, cat. Three, tree, table, table, chair, chair, boy, boy, girl, girl car, car, computer, computer book, book, sun, road, road telephone, river, box, glass, glass, flower, flower, flower dress. dress. Yes, Flower. very good. What about the Flower. adjectives? What are the adjectives I've put up there? Yellow. Yellow happy. Green. Old. Sleepy. 
Winding. Winding. A uh, winding. Mm -hmm. Little. Winding. Little. Crying. Mm -hmm. Big. Old. Noisy. Smelly. Dirty. <laughs> lazy. Cold. White. Short. Pretty. The other one I don't see. Y the other is straight. Flower. 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 Flowery. Oh, okay, I can see. Flowery. Flowery. Yeah, oh, yeah, flowery. I can see now. Flowery. Flowery. Okay. What's the last one? Straight. 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 Okay. Straight. I'm going to give you two minutes. I want you to uh, go to your chat. Can you can you get to your chat feature where you can write a sentence? I want you to get to your chat feature where you can write a sentence. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to give you two minutes to write two sentences using the nouns and the adjectives in these two lines. Remember, uh, adjective describes a noun. And the noun, um, uh, use the nouns here and use the adjectives here. And you can use as many adjectives to describe the noun in the sentence that you want to. But remember, if you use more than one, you need to put your commas. Okay. Here, I'm telling you what to do. You should... <laughs> no, again, again, I just call you, please repeat again, uh, Mrs. Philippe, what do you want? I'm sorry? Could you repeat again, please, what you just said yes, right now? Yes, if you will write two sentences. Okay. Writing. And you can use one of the nouns okay. and as many of the adjectives as you want to in each sentence. Okay. You can write it on your paper and then if you will type it in chat, then it will come up to me. What I do? Uh, ah. <laughs> ah. Be sure you have a complete sentence and don't forget punctuation. <laughs> we can send a message so I can do.
Okay, about 30 seconds. Okay, everybody got theirs done? Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at a couple. Remember a sentence has a subject and predicate. Mm -hmm. It has a, usually a noun and a verb. It's capitalized at the beginning and has punctuation at the end. So let's see what our sentences look like. Whoops, let me get back up to the top. Oh, wait, there's one. Well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the first ones. Uh, these, these are from Rami. Flower smelly good, boy crying a lot, the box wide enough to fit a lot of stuff, table looks dirty, I think cat feels cold. Okay, what I see in these, in these sentences, in the first one, I don't see a flower smelly good. I don't see a verb. Uh, we could change it and say the flower smells good um, or the flower is smelly. Uh, now that wouldn't work. I'm sorry, that turns it into a to a uh, adverb. Um, the flower has good smell. Yes, that the flower has good smell would yeah. would give you a verb yes. uh, and uh, good. Um, the adjective is going to have to be before. Is gonna the adjective is gonna have to be about the flower. So it would be the smelly flower is good. Uh, that um, this hmm. The smelly flower Smelly flower doesn't. Uh, let's see. It's smelly as an adjective. It's going to have to describe the flower. The flower is smelly and good. That's about the best we can do with that one. Okay. The second one, the boy, the boy, okay. I think it's supposed to be the boy. Sick. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. boy, okay. Yeah, That's sick. what I thought you meant. The boy, yeah, the boy, says, yeah, yeah. boy crying a lot is what it yeah. should mm -hmm. say. Yes. Um, okay. The crying boy is crying a lot. That would give you crying as a adjective describing the boy, the crying boy, and then is crying. Crying would change to a verb there, a lot. And lot would be the adverb. 
So you could say the crying boy is crying a lot. And then, of course, capitalize your first word of a sentence and period at the end. The next one, the box wide to fit a lot of stuff. You would say the box is wide enough to fit a lot of stuff. There's not a verb in there. Yes. Okay. So you'd have to put the verb is in there. Yes. Okay. The, box is um, the next mm -hmm. one, the uh, table looks is, dirty. Yeah. The I would put the table looks dirty. The table looks um, dirty. Yeah. Yes. Put the before the table. That article the um, yeah. makes it more of a sentence. Um, I think. The cat, the cat feels, feels cold. cold. Yes, yeah. put the, the article the in there. I think the cat feels cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Sonia, the baby was, the little baby was crying. Yes. Uh, capitalize capitalize <laughs> your the. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> capitalize your the. And then little describes the baby. Uh, crying describes the baby. Okay, let me get my, I moved down some here. Um, whoops, I moved down too far. Um, river is wide where it ends. I would put the river, the river is yeah. wide where it ends. Mm -hmm. Yes, put that article the in there. Um, well, I can't, I might go up just a little bit to get Pedro's cat thing in there. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Um, well, no, it still jumped Pedro's cat. Why does he <laughs> keep doing that? <sighs> the old cat is happy. Is that what it says? The old cat is happy? Yeah. Uh, I cannot get it. It's a good one, oh, actually. Silly computer. Silly. Yeah, it's okay. good, yeah, it's a good one. The old cat, he describes a cat. Yes. She old has describes the cat. She's old, yeah, and he, there is the verb is, and then he's putting, he describes the situation that she's happy. Yes, yep. yes. And then a period at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next two, let's see. I have a car which has a straight front. straight front okay put your articles in there to help yep. the sentence um uh, flow a little bit better i have a car which has, which a, straight, has a straight, straight front, front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and then on the second one i have a book, book with, green with back cover. a green back cover Yes, but your article's in there. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Sonia, the old chair, it's noisy. You really don't need the it's in there. You can just put the old chair is noisy. If okay. you want to if you want to say it this way, you can say the old chair, comma, it's noisy. It would okay. be two, it's two um, uh, phrases basically there. Okay. Um, and so you can do it either way. Let's mm -hmm. see. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My girl looks happy only at weekend. Okay. It's like it's me. Mine. <laughs> it's only like me. <laughs> That's like you. <laughs> me too. I only like the weekends. Yeah. Uh, I don't I'm know. Now that, I'm now that I'm retired, I like the weekdays too. So. <laughs> Uh, let's see. The, uh, my girl looks happy only weekends. I think weekends. some weekends. Is, is to be on, yes. weekend. yeah. on the weekends. Yes, and, to be yes. There. Weekend. Yeah. on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, the table is yellow and wide. Okay. Capitalize the and period at the end. And that makes a good sentence. The table is yellow and wide. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go down a little. 
bit further. Whoops. I have flowery tree at my backyard. Okay. I have a flowery tree and okay we probably need to work on prepositions because at in around under over all of those prepositions in this instance it would be in my backyard mm -hmm. yeah if, okay. if, if if this was your let me get up my next smaller if this was your backyard okay mm -hmm. And this pencil is at the backyard. The pencil is in the backyard. You see the difference? Yeah. At, it's just right at it. In, it is in the backyard. So this instance would be in my backyard. I have a flowery tree in my backyard. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay, um, and I'll get, I, I think I've got some preposition things. We'll work on some prepositions too. That's why we're gonna go back and do some um, grammar review. Don't y'all love it? <laughs> love grammar, don't you? Yes, no. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I know I know my class, Rami, they don't like grammar very much. <laughs> <laughs> Grammar's not fun, is it? It's not as fun as the other stuff. Okay. Nice little bit back. Okay. Let's, oh wait, I skipped Sonia's other one. The little green wagon. Same I thing here, like in the other sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I have twice. You can, you can put a you can put a comma after wagon and put it is old, or you can just put the little green wagon is old. It's old. Yeah. Either either thank way. You. Okay, <clears> thank you. Okay, Miss Norma. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The baby crying because the in baby the house girl. there. Uh -huh. <laughs> the baby crying. Uh -huh. in the house there was it. a noisy cat. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's see. All right, the baby girl. You're uh -huh. gonna put. You're gonna need a verb. Is uh -huh. crying. Okay. The oh baby yes, girl I skipped it. Is uh -huh. crying. You left your is out. Is crying, and uh -huh. then you're gonna put comma. <laughs> uh, take your comma out after girl and just put is mm -hmm. and then crying because okay. comma in the house mm -hmm. comma there is a noisy cat mm -hmm. and then period the baby okay. girl is crying comma okay. because in the house there is a noisy cat period mm-hmm Okay. <laughs> All right. Is that the last one? Yeah, I think that's the last one. No, I okay. Say... Mm -hmm. Do what? I don't share just... one. You forget Char. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh I can okay. see we need work work on grammar and sentence structure. Mm -hmm. Um this is the first time that we've done that this year. Mm -hmm. Um so we're going we'll work some more on grammar and sentence structure. Next week we'll do uh, nouns and adjectives again. Okay. Um, so if you want to think of some sentences between now and then, um, I spend <laughs> I spend a happy time with today's session. All right, right. All right. That's good. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a good one to end the sentences on. Yeah. Isn't it? So, <laughs> so if you want to work on some sentences with uh, nouns and adjectives to describe those nouns between now and and next week, bring them and we'll go over those too and see um, uh, how they work. All right, okay. now let me get over to the next thing I have, and it is, okay. <sighs> let's see, we did the adjectives, we did the idioms. All right, I'm going to show you
I want you to look at this picture mm -hmm. and I want you to write me. Okay. Two sentences that describes this picture or something in the picture. Remember you need a noun. Remember you need a verb. You can put some adjectives okay. in it. Remember to capitalize the first word of the sentence and to put your punctuation, okay? Mm -hmm. This one's a little bit different. This one's a little bit freer. I'm not giving you the words. You can use your own words. I'm gonna try to have us done at 8.20, I mean 8.30. So we got, we got 10 minutes to get through. <laughs> Too big, didn't it? Uh -huh. You're welcome, Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> I'm trying to put my sentence together, but I hit the uh, send. Where did you send it? Oh, you're, you're so let's the Let's see, road. Pedro. Yeah. The blue, okay. You're going to have to re, re, what do you call it? Reverse it. The house. Uh huh. Let's, let's see, Pedro. Uh, let's see. The house has a blue roof. Your uh, verb needs to go bef Your verb needs to reverse. The, the, the blue roof house have a big green trees around. The blue roof house has big, oh, did you make another sentence? Yeah, the same. Oh, there we go. The blue, no. Yes, you could say uh, 
All right, let's let's start at the top and and go one by one. Make it look good. Um. Well. I've got to get a mouse for my computer. This this thing right here is not working well. Okay, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the water in the picture reflects oh piddlesticks, fiddlesticks, fiddlesticks. Here we go. Lord, I got okay. The water in the picture reflects the house and the red boat. Yes, <laughs> the water in the picture reflects the house and the red boat. That is a very good sentence. I wish one day to go on vacation and spend time alone in this house. I would, I would drop the A. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll because spend, it would yeah, just mean. Yeah. Yeah, it would just mean time, time. not, yes. less, time. not time. necessarily yes. a time. Yes, yes. And that's perfect. That would be perfect. Okay. Now, let's see, Pedro. You've got the blue roof house. How, mm, the blue roof house has, and what did you say was supposed to be at the end of it? Big tree, big green trees around. Big green trees around it. Okay. The blue roof house house you would put has and have is going to be past tense so you're going to use the word has and okay. then the big green trees around it is perfect with a period at the end you have to have period too so um that would be perfect yes oh there's the rest of it right there big green trees around mm -hmm. okay perfect yes This place is amazing to spend a weekend with your family. Yes, that is a good sentence. I wouldn't uh, capitalize place yes, unless that was yeah, unless yeah. it was a name of it or something. If it was called okay. the place, you know. This place, yeah, um, okay. Yes, yeah, just, you're just talking about this place, so. Yes. All right, and then that's the rest of your green trees around it, right? Okay. <laughs> Uh, Norma, the big house is very beautiful, has a small lake. I would put the ha the big house is very beautiful and has a small lake instead of a comma. I would just put and, uh, and has a small lake. Use it as a, uh, connecting and as a connector to connect both of those. Big house is very beautiful and has a small lake. Yes. All right. Any questions on yours? Okay. Sonia, I would like to spend one weekend on this house. <laughs> I like you. Okay. Here we go with our prepositions again. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Here's our prepositions. Okay. Here's our house. Okay. All right. I would like to. <laughs> what did it say? I would like to spend one weekend on this house. In. You're gonna be on top of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. In. You're gonna be in, in it. Yeah. Okay. In. You want to be in it. <laughs> Yeah. I would like to spend one weekend <laughs> in this house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, prepositions, it's just all in the meaning. And, and I'll pull out some prepositions. If y'all will look in some of your papers, you may have some stuff on prepositions that I've handed out. If not, I will, um, uh, I know I've got something on it and I will pull it up. And Rami, I will get with Ricky and see if there's a way I can share the document in um, WhatsApp. Uh, we may be able to do that. Um, or I may even be able to um, send it to you. Well, you're gonna be on your phone though. No. I don't know. I'll find out a way to get some documents to you if, if at all possible. 
And let's see, on this one also, I would put, let's see, I would like to spend one weekend in this house. Okay, I would probably put a semicolon or I would put a period and start a new sentence. I like the view. Okay. Uh, because it's kind of two different sentences, but you can put a semicolon. Okay. I like and put I like the view. Or okay. you could, uh, let's see, I would like to spend one weekend on, in this house. You could put, because I like the view. But yeah. I think what yeah. You're, yeah, you could put that too, but I think what you're saying would probably be better with a semicolon and I like the view. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All okay. right. Let's see what else we got. Um, if you will notice, you will see how God gave us, okay gives us give us a beautiful nature to enjoy okay if if you will notice you will see how god you can put has given or gave get uh i would put has given as the present as has given us beautiful i would drop the a on this one he has given us beautiful nature to enjoy if you will notice you will see how god has given us beautiful nature to enjoy mm -hmm. okay. a good nature the last one is good the last one is really good okay um Okay. Uh, next for Norma is the blue house has a small boat, a lot of trees. Okay. This is good. However, the okay. blue house has a small boat. Thank you. I would drop the comma after has because that's actually a whole sentence. The blue uh -huh. house has a small boat. Mm -hmm. And you can put comma and a lot of trees. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to connect it um, okay, with something. Yeah, connect it with and. Yeah. <clears throat> or make two sentences. But I, I, here, I think connecting it with and a lot of trees. Okay. I can see clear sky at the horizon. Let's see, clear sky at the horizon. You know, it sort of depends on where you're looking. It could be on the horizon or at the horizon, either one. Depends on where you're looking at. So uh, either one would be correct um, mm -hmm. in this instance, okay? okay. Let's see, Sonia, my family definitely, and I will enjoy this house, but it is too big for me. My family, I don't know why. I, don't know why. I would put my family and I, that's who's going to enjoy it. My family we'll, and I definitely, yeah, uh -huh. I think. My that. family and I, as, as yes. group, the people that are going to enjoy it together, my family and I definitely will enjoy this house, mm -hmm. uh, but it is too big for me. I like, I like small places better. You like small places better? Yeah. I do too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> it's too much to clean up, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Put my family and I, okay. And then definite comma definitely will. I mean, no, no. My family and I definitely will enjoy this house, comma. But it is mm -hmm. too big for me. All it right. Should be okay. one second, Mrs. Fellow. It should be definitely well or will definitely. Okay. Now what? Again, I, no. I'm just. I, I was. I'm just reiterate what you just said right now and like I got a little confused here. 
So we should just proceed right now. My family and I definitely will enjoy. It cannot be uh, in the other way like uh, my family and I, but we'll put first the verb like my family and I will definitely enjoy this house. You could say it, yes, you could do either way. I can do it either way. Okay, my, good. Yes, okay. my family and I will definitely, definitely. enjoy this house. Yes. I see what you're saying. Yes, yeah. you can actually well, say it either well, way. Okay. My family and I definitely well, will well. enjoy this house, or my family we'll and I yeah. will definitely enjoy this house. You can reverse those. Um, some words you can't, you, you don't want to reverse, but now those you can reverse, yes. Yeah, but you can say it either way. Yeah, yeah. Be correct. Yeah, this uh, this verb enjoy. <laughs> we can say this enjoy for a house because <laughs> like uh, <laughs> it is a house. You know, we are not enjoying with the house because you can do something you are doing, but not with oh. something which is <laughs> now. <laughs> you know, the house <laughs> it's <laughs> now <laughs> and enjoy is verb. So like I enjoy. Uh, I enjoy my food because like I was eating my food. Mm -hmm. there, is, there is an act or something is there, but like enjoy <laughs> the house or enjoy this house. How, how, how I will enjoy this house is mean I'm not eating the house or I'm not like uh, doing something with the house. You, I see what you're saying. You, you not necessarily would enjoy the house as a verb is what you're saying, yes, right? Yeah. Uh, like you would enjoy your food. Yes. Okay, I, okay, I see what you're saying. Um, well, you can enjoy, you can enjoy the house by just taking in its beauty, its comfort, its, mm -hmm. uh, just like you can enjoy the outside, uh nature and the beauty outside you can enjoy your food because it's beautiful it tastes good but there is no uh, it's just it's a different enjoyment yeah let me let me because let me enjoyment verb, enjoy something it should be related and connected with an with an act it is there I mean, there is no act on the house itself. Like you mean like an active verb, like a- Yes, there is, because there is no act. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I just take it so far, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, let me, pull yeah. up, let me pull up the definition of enjoy and let's see yes. what we can find out from. That may help us a little bit. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry, my phone's taking forever to pull up stuff. Okay. Um, oh, good grief. It didn't give me a... Mm -hmm. Enjoy definition. It is verb. No. Okay. The... the um, the definition of enjoy is to, to take the light or pleasure in, to possess and benefit from. Okay, Joe, uh, Joe enjoys reading family sagas. Uh, the Synonyms, anonyms, hang on. Possess and benefit from. Possess and benefit from. Um, it can mean have a pleasant time. I could never enjoy myself knowing you were in your room alone. Mm. 
I think it can be used active and passive both. It doesn't tell me if it's an active verb or a passive verb. Um, I may have to go to a, like the, the big dictionary to find that. Um, what is the meaning of enjoy? Enjoy is defined as to have or receive happiness, pleasure, or satisfaction from someone or something. An example of enjoy is a child laughing while on a swing. Um, so he enjoy with his act while he swing. There is something that uh, make him it's like a cause, you know, like a reason to make him happy, which is he was swinging. Uh, to take pleasure or satisfaction in the possession or experience of, to feel or perceive with pleasure, to be delighted with, uh, as in to enjoy conversation, that would be doing something also. Yeah. Uh, no. is totally, you know, I'll leave it. I just take it so far. I'm sorry. <laughs> I take it so far. I'm sorry. Just, <laughs> it's a thought came to my mind. Like, like, is there something weird here? Like, let's just, you think? I was okay, thinking loudly. You... Yeah, that's it. You think of it more of doing something to enjoy yes. it, to, yeah. to, to enjoy it, not yeah. sitting there and taking in the beauty and comfort. You can enjoy that too, but it's not a, like an active doing something. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. I, I, I see where, I see what you're saying. Um, what word would you put in there if you were making that sentence? What word would you put in there? Uh, my family and I will definitely uh, have a lot of fun in this house. Okay. We will spend a lot of joy, uh, joyful. Uh, time in this house okay it will be amused by the nature it will be amused by the architect of this house of the decoration inside this house inside this house okay my family and uh my family and uh Okay, let me work on this one and see what I can come up like, with. Yeah. Enjoy um, spending time inside this house. Enjoy spend. I mean, there is something it is related to enjoy. Like there is an act is there. Okay, let me check. Yeah, I've written it down. Let me check on it. I've got a couple of uh, friends that are... Um, English teachers, and let me see what we can come up with. If there's a rule for that, or if you could use enjoy, or if it's something that needs an active verb. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, an active verb. So let me um, let me see what I can find out, and I will let you know okay. next okay. next sure. week. Next okay. Week. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have to research it. Like I tell the rest of the class, I am not an expert on anything. I learn just as much as y'all do. So, okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm yeah. going to stop share because I hate to keep y'all forever. And it's, it's 830 now, I think. Yes, it? Yes, oh my thank gosh. You, Bedro. Bedro Ooh, it's give a me it. It's bedtime. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So next week, you're going to do the last part of the lesson 10. We'll finish okay. that. We'll do some idioms on, let me see what they're on next week. Um, 
idioms on resting and relaxing. Mm -hmm. And I will see if I can come up with some prepositions. I think prepositions, we need some work on. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> please. Yes, because we don't want to, <laughs> we don't want to be sitting on top of the house enjoying it. So yeah. I will get me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sonia's going to be sitting on the house enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> When you need to be in it, and let's say, <laughs> and Rami's going to be on the side of the street instead yes. of in the yard. So, so <laughs> I will, I will get some prepositions, and we'll kind of go over some prepositions and what their meanings are next week. Yeah. That'll be our grammar review next week. Miss so, Phillips, and, and something uh, else, please. Uh, something else, please, Mrs. Philly. I've just. A check with oh you just the guy I forgot his name just to, he told me his name right now about how to share documents through WhatsApp. If you can share, to, it's going to be like more easy for us to save it to our system to our computer on the hard drive. So yes. like, it will be easy for us to go back and review it again and again. I will see what I can find out from Ricky and see if we can share them in WhatsApp or if they they may want us to rather rather share it in um. Um, your phone message, your text message. Uh, I think I there can share it in way, that. There is a way through WhatsApp. It is just, you can go to the website, any web page, and just write WhatsApp web, which is website. And yeah. then you have to like uh, do synchronization with your phone, with the WhatsApp. And then you can see your phone, WhatsApp phone in, uh, in your screen itself. So, and you can do whatever you want. You can extract, okay. you I've, can extract things, you can uh, send something. I've got myself a note to check okay. on those two things, on enjoy and to check on sharing. So see if yes. we can yes. uh, share that. So, all right. Any questions about tonight? Any questions? Uh, <clears throat> Our sentences are still fragmented. Uh, we're going to work on that, though. Okay. okay. Work on, work on sentences. <clears throat> you know, last week or last year we were unscrambling sentences and we may okay. do some more of that too because I think sentence structure, getting it in the right order, sentence order is very important um, along with the um, correct verb tense. So we'll, we'll work on that in the weeks to come. Next week we'll work on prepositions though. Because I want to be sure you're in the right place. <laughs> Not <laughs> only be in it, uh, at it, <laughs> or whatever. Okay. So, all right. Okay, I'm going to let y'all go because it's bedtime. Y'all have to go yeah. to work tomorrow. And well, very early, and actually. <laughs> <laughs> so I will see you next week at 6.30. Um, okay. All right. Thank you, here. Miss Phillips. Thank you. you Have a good night, welcome. everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.